Greetings, everyone. How's it going? How you doing? How's everything? Today, we are starting late. In fact, we are starting... Technically, we're not even supposed to be starting at all, so, like, this is a good... This is a good time to start as ever, right? Um, hi. Uh, we're playing Pokemon today, and, um... Yeah. <laughs> so, originally, I was planning to be out of town today, but, um, weather permitting, it did not permit. And so now, here I am, just kind of sitting here uh with you guys now and um uh i wasn't planning to do a whole lot but you know i was really close to beating cynthia last time and i was thinking maybe maybe this time maybe this time it'll go different especially since i'm now a little bit more prepared and i spent the money and um i have items <laughs> i have items now um hopefully it'll go much much better we can hope. <laughs> if not, then I guess I can grind and then eventually we'll beat Cynthia. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but in other... In other case... In, in any other case... K -k case? Sorry. I don't like when I blow into my mic. In any other case, we are just going to play Pokemon tonight and then we're just going to have a fun time. We're going to maybe beat Pokemon and then... Uh, yeah. So let's go. Hey, do you guys want to see a little bit of a difference in today's stream? So... Here's the original layout I have. It's um, you know, it's all right. It's it's decent. It it gets the the point across. But imagine, imagine if we instead of a 3ds we had a 3ds XL, and I was like, whoa, you have a 3ds XL? Yeah, we do. It's much bigger. Look at that major difference. Oops, that's a BRB. But yeah, like this compared to this, the chat's a little bit more squished. But you know, now you can see more of the action. There's more action on screen compared to this. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing there. Like, you can't see anything. You can see everything from now. <laughs> so let's play Pokemon, shall we? I I literally left off exactly, exactly where I left off before. So you saw me save, and uh, aha! Thank you, Wongies. <laughs> nice to see you here. Thank you Best. for stopping by. Oh, in fact, I need to reposition that, um, that alert box now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Die. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, collective 200 bits. No! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why? Why you do? Death to Akira. No. Give give him life, Manaka Dobo. Hi, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for the high redeem. I can w I witness you. Yeah. Uh, so we left off at exactly. Keyword exactly. Uh, where we left off, and I'm not. Fuck. Stop. <laughs> Soul Sapphire. Thank you for the fish. Are there different ones for different amounts? Um, every twenty bits you donate throws one item. So if you donate 100 bits, you throw five items. If you do donate 1,000 bits, you donate or you throw 50 items. Uh, so that's how that goes. We are gonna we're gonna attempt today. Do you guys do you guys like the difference in the screen? By the way, stop it. <laughs> like, like here's what it looks like before. Like, look how tiny that is compared to this. I like this one so much better. Like, bah, like tiny screen, tiny DS. DSXL. <laughs> Cody Jones, hello. I'm going to sub going to sleep, but I wanted to say hello and support my boy. Thank you so ah, thank you for the banana, gentle relts, <laughs> and thank you, Cody Jones, for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. Got that new Akira 3DS XL. Yes, the new Akira model. New model, new me. Ah. <laughs> Monakadobo, thank you for the six, nine, five bits. Wait, does that add to, does, does, does that add up to, yeah, that was, does that up to 50. <laughs> Akira, get the banana. Potassium. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start off with fire. You know what? Actually, we're going to start off with Jesus Crust because he's a flying type. Dulce. Dulce. I mean, Dulce technically is not incorrect, but it all it also is incorrect. I don't, I just don't like it when people say Akira Dulce. <laughs> that's that's like okay, ah. 
I was thinking about making a TikTok the other day about how, like, yesterday I was talking about how my, I can do this with my eyebrows. Hold on. My eyebrows. Hold on. Let me adjust my face for a second. I can do this with my eyebrows. Like, immediately. <laughs> like, I can go to instant sad mode just by going... What? Why would you throw, the, why would you throw that at me? Uh -huh. <laughs> duels? Akira duels? No, you're just... You know, it's like... I always find it really weird, really funny, when people pronounce sake. S-A-K-E. Osake. Alcohol. Japanese alcohol as sake, which I kind of understand, you know, sake, e, right? But like, sake, sake. Oh my god, would you like some sake? Does that kill? No, no kill. Maybe I should just brave bird through this entire team. Oh god, I forgot about toxic. Oh god, maybe I should adjust for this. Pew, pew, pew. I think Bug is weak against Rock, but the one Rock move I, I switched for a... Uh, I switched it for... a Thunder move. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to buy Antidotes. I do have Petcha Berries, though, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I forgot about Toxic scrolling through Twitter. For real, though. Why would you do this? Yeah, I'm, I'm just super tempted to just Brave Bird my way through this. How much... How much recoil does it do, though? I should be able to wipe this one. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Hair cross. That's fighting bug, right? Okay. So I know for a fact that I do not want to mess with this thing. So I'm definitely going to brave bird. Brave bird. No! Ah! Now he's got fucking flame orb. Now what do I do? Pesade. Pesade. What the? Oh my god, I forgot. Facade does so much damage. Yes! I'm fast! Perish. I'm not dealing with your bullshit, sir. Oh my god. Beautiful eye. Okay, we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with it. Stick with it. Fire blast again. Not a chance. Not a chance. Vespa Queen. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray. <laughs> Let's pray. I have a candle with me today, so uh, it's been really, it's been really cold recently, uh, as I've been saying for the past couple days. And so my room is, I wouldn't say my room is smelly, um, but I accidentally left a, um, a little, a, a little thing, it's like a little thing of vinegar, a tiny little thing of vinegar on my desk from eating fries. And that was... 
that was um it was enough if you leave, just it's just a day and it's like it leaves sense it leaves smell in your room and i was like oh god so like i'm just kind of using it to cover up cover up the smell it's not nasty but like i'd rather not smell vinegar like like left out vinegar you know and now I have a lavender candle. Also kind of keeps me warm. It's like right next to my shoulder. So it's like a nice, nice warm. Oh God. Nah. <laughs> oh, a crit, huh? A crit, huh? That's how you're gonna do it? With a crit? I have... I have Aura Sphere. Vinegar is one of my kryptonites. I'm allergic to it. Oh man, that sucks. Vinegar is like one of my favorite things of all time. Like, I can't eat fries without it. Like, it's so good. I mean, I can, but like, I'd prefer to eat fries with vinegar. Oh shit, I was like, wait, this thing's poison. I can maybe use, um, I can maybe use Gardevoir, but that's a bad idea and that's really stupid and I don't know why I would think that. I actually really freaking love salt and vinegar chips as well. Oh, so good. Of course you would use a full restore. Anytime I've tried something with vinegar, it activates my gag reflex. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. I guess that's sort of like me with tomatoes. Are you kidding me? It's literally acid. Yeah. You know, I think I damaged my throat by having too much vinegar one time. Yeah, I, so for like two days, I had nothing but like fries and vinegar. Was it worth it? Absolutely. It was absolutely freaking lutely worth it. Why? But yeah, like, for a while, I felt like I had a sore throat. Or like, it felt like there was something, like, stuck in my throat. And I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, critical hits. Are we critting now? What's up, everybody? Critical? Better not fucking... Hurt me. Yeah, let's go. But yeah, um... If you ever were to damage your throat for vinegar, uh, I guess that's all right. Wouldn't recommend it, but like, also I did, I would recommend it. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Okay, so this is going much better than last time. First fight I ever had. The first fight I had, I lost. I lost three of my Pokemon instead of losing two. Um, it's 120, so that'll bring me to... Uh, fully heal me. Oh, no, it won't. Wait, what? 120. Sorry, I can't do math, apparently. That's fine, though. Hundred and twenty plus wait, hundred and twenty plus Did I do my math wrong? Hold on. Oh I definitely did. I thought it said eighty. <laughs> I was I was already took the subtractive and then I was like, oh yeah. Never mind. Uh ground type Pokemon. How did I deal with this? How did I deal with ground type Pokemon?
I don't remember. Gotta sleep. I hope you come. Elite singular. Yeah, elite one. That's me. Elite one. Number one. Victory Royale. This kind of is like a... This is kind of like a 4v or 5v1, technically. But yeah, I don't remember how I dealt with ground types. Like, at all. Oh, I remember this Quagsire giving me some heck, though. How did I deal with this? Hole maker. Hole maker, make it bam 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 bam. What if I just like? What if I just like solo solo Palkia? <laughs> Is that what I did last time? I don't remember. I'm exerting my pressure. This won't kill me. No, it won't. They get pretty dang close though. I have a feeling this. I have a feeling he'll knock me out. Oh fuck! I was right. I should have healed. This thing's got a rock move. I wish I had a grass move. Ah, jeez. I, I I have no idea how to deal with this right now. What if I just sing it? Oh, I didn't actually think that would land. I think this thing has rest, too, as well. No, it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, oh, one of them, one of them has, like, a rest and, like, the berry that keeps it awake, or that wakes it up. Oh, why'd you wake up? Come on. Oh, is that leftovers? Oh, it's leftovers. Ah! See, why can't I have leftovers, like, right away? I have to base on myself on luck. has recover. It's gonna stall. Oh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> Sorry. There's no way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. <laughs> Man, I hope I'm not sick. I'm probably not sick, but... Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta cough, you know? Okay, maybe Spatial Rend will- I probably won't kill him, but it'll probably do some good damage. Oh, shit, never mind! Hey! 
That worked. Pseudo Wudo. I'll keep with it. Or a sphere. <laughs> Get out of here. Some of these Pokemon, I don't even know what they can do. Wish Cash. Wish Cash. Ha. Huh. Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Wow. What's Spatial Run's accuracy? Like 85? 95, and I still missed. Wow. Get out of here. Bulldoze. Yeah, get out of here. speed fell. That's not good. I'm still faster. Still faster. Get out of here, Wish Cash. Ba 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 ba. Golem. I have a feeling this is a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Akira had an idea. And it was a bad one, but decided to do it anyways. Ah. Waha. That's not good. That's not good. Heavy slam. Oh, that wasn't... Wait. Did it not... Does it not have, like, a rock attack? It's a rock type. <laughs> wow. Rookie mistake. Rookie. Freaking rookie over here. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da! Hippowdon. I think this is the one that has rest and sleep and... Not rest and sleep. <laughs> rest and recover and... I think... I think it's bad. We're gonna try... We're just trying to hydro pump it out of here. Gonna pump one out real quick. Sorry, I'm just gonna stand, stand next to my... My lavender fire. Nice and warm. And it smells good! Sorry, that was me smelling it. Ah Oh Jesus. All right, you better land it. You better land it. That's probably not going to kill, is it? It killed. <clears throat> ba -da 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 -da. Ooh big chunk of health. Peg grew to 60. Crust grew to 64. Ah, oh, big Bertha. Big Bertha hips. Sorry, I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. I... Listen, it's been a long day. <laughs> Congratulations, you pegged yourself. <laughs> How does one peg oneself? With a lot of effort. Okay. And we got one more wax potion to use. One more wax potion. The Coolio! Coolio! 
Oh yeah, this is the one with it's like the fire types, but not they're not actually fire types. Because they realize they don't have very many fire types available. Um I guess we'll just lead with Empoleon. How's I, I'm, how does one peg oneself though? Ah. With portals, my friend. Now you're thinking with portals. That's the only way that I can think of, anyways. Or like a multiverse. Like a multiverse. Monakadobo. They're like, hey, what's up? And you're like, peg. <laughs> Speaking about multiverse, I went and watched the Spider Man movie today. It was freaking amazing! Ugh. Ugh. I lost my mind. I lost my marbles. I don't know what it is about Spider-Man. I don't know what it is about Spider-Man and seeing so many Spider-Men on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, that might have been a spoiler. <laughs> uh, uh, please ignore. <laughs> uh, but man, uh... That Spider-Man movie really got me, though. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I wish I could talk about it, but I don't know. I feel like it's inappropriate to talk about it since, like, we're still kind of, like, in the middle of a pandemic and people have not seen the movie yet. But man, oh my god, did I get horny? I mean, excited. <laughs> I wonder why it has high jump kick. I can't believe I got critted too. <clears throat> Steelix. Steelix. Banana, banana. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a short stream if I'm gonna finish it real quick. Uh, I feel like, yeah, maybe this will be good. Oh my god, crunch. Oh, nice. Oh, friendship, OP. With the power of friendship. God damn it. Come on. Friendship power go. 85%. Steelix, still probably one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Of all time. Of all time. Drift Blim. Um, fairy's good against ghosts, right? We'll send out Holemaker anyways. I've been watching so many behind-the-scenes videos about the new Spider-Man. They had so many backup plans based on... Oh, really? And they managed to get a whole lot of them, too. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Oh my god. Please not again. <clears throat> See, I've uh, I have double resistance against this Infernape, but I think it has fighting moves, so if they didn't get anyone at all, Doc Ock, Green Goblin. They would have made it a Craven the Hunter movie. I'm sorry? Craven the Hunter? I'm unfamiliar. Oh, that hurt. Craven, that isn't that like the name of a cereal? Crave? Crave cereal? 
Well, Infernape really... <laughs> Under... was not very impressive. <clears throat> it's another Spider-Man comic villain they haven't done yet. Oh, that's fair. Mysterio. The Mysterio one... So the Mysterio movie really... It really confused me at first, but as soon as I... As soon as the plot twist happened, I was like, oh, I understand. <laughs> oh, I understand. It's a, it's a plot twist. The thing that led up to the plot twist. Is that when I, when I clued in? I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I was like, well, isn't Mysterio a, a, like a villain? Like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> That's probably another spoiler, but I don't know. Far From Home came out a while ago, so I'm not too upset about maybe spoiling that one. What a story, Mark. Do I have burn heal? I do. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh this is going way too easy now. <laughs> now I have the knowledge. This next one, this next fight is gonna be, is my favorite, honestly, like... There's no way. <laughs> There's no way I can lose this one. Mr. Lucian, if that's your real name. Lucian's such a cool name, like it's so dark and edgy. I would name my child Lucian if he didn't hate me for life. There he is. The mime, the legend. Lucian Dolce. <laughs> Lu Lucian Dolce. You know, that, that kind of has a nice ring to it. Alright, time to freaking stack myself. Alright, this is three. As he joins stream. Hey, as he, welcome! Welcome to the stream! We're hopefully gonna finish this game today. And then maybe do post game stuff. I don't know. Probably. Dazzling gleam. Oh, my eyes. Oh, Mr. Mime, you're so sexy. Oh, my eyes can't handle you. All right, this is five. One more after. One more. Mr. Mime is actually like one of the coolest Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, like no joke. I think Mr. Mime is one of the most creative Pokemon. And it's fucking scary. Look at that thing. He'll also fuck your wife or your mother. He almost fucked my Wife or mother. <laughs> oh my god, he almost fucked my wife and or mother. <laughs> is this the last one before Cynthia? It is. Girafferig. Brrrr! 
Don. Don, gone. Gonna sweep. Did somebody order a janitor? Because I'm about to sweep. After I sweep your team, I'm gonna mop the floor with you. So clean up your act before I do. Just taking out the trash. What else do janitors do? Some clean puns? Thanks. I got nothing. <laughs> oh, this is the one Pokemon that fucked me over. Hmm. I did- I did end up switching over to... I switched over to... White Woman Instagram, because that thing's gonna hit me with a freaking... Um a steel move gyro ball ah thank you for the object thank you for the heart yeah not very effective oh my god though still freaking strong gonna need some sawdust because these pokemon are just vomit Oh yeah, I see that that fucking one shot me. <clears throat> That's all right though. That's all right. Done. Freaking wiped. Ba 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 ba! <laughs> no match for me. That's that's honestly one of my favorite fights right there because <laughs> because of the stupid cheese strat there. This is the final battle. Okay, I don't remember how Cynthia leads off. I think Cynthia leads off with a staller of some sort. Because I know she has a Roserade, she has a Milotic, she has a... <sighs> what else does she have? I don't remember exactly. But I do want to use a Lepa Berry to White Woman Instagram to get the Fire Blast back. And as well as Spatial Rend. And I think I'm pretty good here. I'm actually going to save here. <clears throat> Garchomp the ace, yeah. Gar can't, can't forget Garchomp. So once, once Milotic comes out, that's when I'm going to start piling on a bunch of X attacks and X defense and stuff like that. I don't need X attack, I just need X special actually. And then I'll, I, I should be good. Because I, I don't have any physical attacks. <clears throat> I just gotta hope that maybe Mirror Coat doesn't happen. <laughs> really, that's all I gotta hope for. Which, it shouldn't be a problem, because I think maybe she'll just spam... Maybe she'll just spam, um... What is it called? Recover? Damn. Damn! That's super effective, isn't it? Oh, you live. Get out of here! Already going well. 
Already going well. Roserade. Ezzy, I have no idea what you just tried to type there, but like... Yes. <laughs> Sludge bomb. <laughs> Things I want to ride. <laughs> oh, how are you not dead? I don't have a quick attack or anything. That's gonna hope that she uses a full restore. Oh, she just withdrew. You weak, pathetic son of a- oh god. That's gonna do no damage whatsoever. Ah, uh, yeah. Leftovers, right? Yeah, leftovers. No effect. Not very effective. Okay, let's see here. It's gonna use a water type move. Probably. Let's go. Oh, a rock type move. <clears throat> My speed. It's lowered. Drill heck. Drill heck, am I right? <clears throat> doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I enjoy. I'm enjoying, maybe. Ugh. Did you get Saki sick? Uh, Saki's been sick. We got sick at the same time, actually. <laughs> it was really funny. I was like, oh, Saki was like, oh, dude, I don't think we can do the, the, the Pokemon collab. <laughs> We're supposed to just shiny hunt together, and we ended up not doing it. It's like, yeah, I feel sick. I, I don't think I can do it. Doctor says uh, I gotta take it, take it easy, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's really, it's fine, because I'm also sick. So yeah, is this a weird, a weird, weird twist of fate there? Yeah, well now we're now we're both just being stubborn here. Oh, earthquake! We had that move the entire time. Da -na 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 -na. I'm just gonna use brine. Oh. I see. <laughs> the synchronize a bit ability. Yeah, and we're both we're both adamant about it. But clearly you're better than Saki. She's doing an ASMR stream and <laughs> yelling at push and striker. <laughs> <clears throat> Good old Saki. Hey, hey, shout out to Saki, guys. I'm gonna give a shout out to Saki. Cool VTuber, my VTuber sibling. Go check her out. Give her a nice follow. Ugh, this is um not going too well. So it keeps throwing rocks at me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out to to Palkia right now, cause I'm getting real fucking sick of this guy. Yeah, it's shiny. Witness it. Witness. Scald. Covered in wetness now. Oh, I'm so wet. Okay. 
Okay. Or a sphere. Oh my god, this thing's so tough! It's like chewing through a overcooked meat. Oh, I got a critical on me. What's up, everybody? I kind of want to spatial rent this thing. Let's do it. <laughs> I was ho hopefully saving it for guard chomp, but you know, whatever. You're now the father of two. What? Sorry, did you ride Cynthia to the moon too hard? <laughs> I was at the dentist and he told me to open wide and said, look, no hit. <laughs> God, I dad jokes. Dad jokes from a dentist? Uh, excuse me. Okay, Gastrodon down. Okay, we're doing good. We are doing good. Roserade's at like one health. We took down Spear Tomb. We took down Gastrodon. Milotic coming out next. Milotic coming out next. Lucario. I don't know how to deal with Lucario. I think I wanted to Brave Bird Lucario. <clears throat> I think I should Brave Bird him. Brave Bird. Wait, why did I Brave Bird? <laughs> I should have close combat. He's a steel type. It's all right, it's all right. Do I have like a quick attack or something? Something that gets out fast? <clears throat> I could maybe hit him with this. My speed's not lowered anymore, too, so that's good. Ah! Lucario! Full restore? Yeah, I, <laughs> you would full restore. Guess what? He's about to die. Well, he probably won't die, but, like, he's gonna hurt. He's gonna be hurting. He's, uh, he's gonna be hurting. Ouch! Ooh! Ah, that hurts! How could you do this? Dragon... Oh, fuck. I forgot about Dragon Pulse. <laughs> I died to that. I remember. I remember now. I remember. Okay, three Pokemon down. One's at one HP. HP. One's at one HP. Roserade. Who's my fastest Pokemon right now? Check summary. Who's my fastest Pokemon? 150, 42, 22, 64. <laughs> yes! Well, oh, Roserade is fast. Oh my god, if it outsped my Rapidash. Get out of here, Roserade. Oh, it's got Poison Point. That sucks. Alright, it's time for Milotic. <gasps> he loves me! Okay. So if I had a Pokemon that had Toxic, it would totally shut down her ability to do her strat. But I do not, so we're gonna we're gonna stall. <laughs> we're gonna stall again. We're gonna have the stall strat. Oh, 
There's that burn. Okay, time to fucking pump this fucking Palkia full of drugs. Okay. We'll start with speed. Actually, we'll start with... Start with special defense. Because it's what? It's got Ice Beam and what's the other move that it has? Oh, Scald. Second, X special. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Which are good, which are bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ask your mom or ask your dad. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of cheating. All right, cool. A six stack of special defense now. Cool. So now we're gonna stack defense now. Regular defense. No, wait, what if I just, what if I didn't? What if I just went for speed now? I'm gonna go f directly for speed. Speed and then special attack. And we're gonna hope that, we're gonna hope that um, my cranked up special attack is gonna fucking destroy the shit. Haha, <laughs> you have to waste time to recover. <laughs> I do not. I do not. I can just heal passively. I wonder if I- can I check? Can I check the speed? Like the speed number? Oh, freaking out. She's freaking out. She's using mirror coat. Okay, there we go. We have high speed now. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh shit. That's okay, this is okay. We have ways around this. So we have high speed. We can cure my burn now. With a Chesterberry? Burn Rostberry. <laughs> okay, we have high speed, we have high defense. Okay. Bit more drugs, and we'll be good. Special attack. Oh, and a dire hit. We gotta throw a dire hit on top of that, too. Oh my god. Man, I, I should be on something well on myself. Like, I feel, I feel high. I feel high with power. <sighs> oh shit. I'm burned. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like a stall, a stall strat is just super weak against a sweep tactic. Because as soon as I, I whip out my fucking super moves here. Okay, 
Okay, I think I'm I think I'm super now. I'm super duper with a big tuper. Okay. Bag. Dire hit now. Okay. I swear to god if I like hit it with a thunderbolt and like it uses <laughs> it uses mirror code on the time where I just don't want it to use mirror code. Okay, I think I'm ready now. I think I'm ready now. Yes, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, baby. Nah. <laughs> nah. Guard Champa. Huh? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god, no chance. No chance. Get out of here. Enough of your shit, Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful chap. What? I I what I you were. Oh, because oh because I won. <laughs> Cause I won. I get it. You're funny. Now you're become the most powerful of all trainers. You are now our newest champion. And I get shit ton of money. I made the money back. Spending whatever it is trying to get to her. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. Aha! Thank you for the 69 bits. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize- Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> you gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and you guided them with drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. Oh, sorry. Certainty. <laughs> That's what I meant. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's your impression should be... I think you have a drug addiction. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now that... I mean, listen. You had to. No matter what, you are the champion. Whether you win or lose. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Akira, your last bla battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Akira, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Akira. Professor Owen, I need you over here as well. <laughs> he recruits kids specifically because they're naive and he doesn't have to pay them. Child labor. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here, the last time you were, if the last time you, you were here was when I became the, ch oh, that's not even her. If the last time <laughs> you were here was when I became champion, that would be quite a long, time ago. Akira, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for pro posterity here. Posterior. <laughs> what you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names. And you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Wow, I can't believe Holemaker is in the Hall of Fame. With White Woman Instagram. Oh, hi, doggy. 
Peg. Congratulations, Peg. Jesus crust. Crinkle toes. Da -da -da -da. Moist. Hole maker. White woman Instagram. Like a... <laughs> we do it like, um... Like a, like a smash announcer. Hold on a second. Congratulations, League Champion! Peg! Jesus Crust! Crinkle Toes! Moist! Hole Maker! White Woman Instagram! <laughs> Thank you! Pokemon Shining Pearl. Wow. That's the end. Oh, I'm on my bicycle. Wow. What a journey. What a journey. Now I just ride off into the sunset, I guess. What are some post-game stuff? What are, what are some things we can do post-game? <laughs> Drift Loon. I still need a Drift Loon on my team, or Drift Blim. So I have a Drift Loon, I just need to level him up to a Drift Blim. I guess we could like maybe Shiny Hunt too, considering my luck. Rotom, maybe? Oh, I forgot Rotom existed. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I first left home? Me too. I'll never forget the time where I went to a jewelry store and stole all the rocks. Yeah, those were great times. And when I met Rourke in his gym full of miners, not like the mining for rocks, but miners as in young people, why were there miners in his gym? Who knows? And the one time, I went to the Pokemon Center because... What am I looking at? I still don't remember what this is. It's a Palkia Dialga. What great memories. And the dress I never wore. I remember the dress I never wore. In fact, I think this memory is fabricated. <laughs> the TV. I've never watched TV in my life. In fact, look, I'm looking away. Do you remember when I never looked at the TV? <laughs> Who wrote on these walls? Man, I hate the cold. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we, we had a time. Oh shit, that's Palkia in the background. I didn't even notice that. Who took these photos? I don't know. My mom? <gasps> Wait, where is that outfit? I want that outfit. That's a nice summer outfit. I would definitely wear that, me myself. <laughs> Italian editing. Valentia. Alice. And who could forget? Dolce! <laughs> I'm Italian. It's funny. Bidoof! 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 Wow, look at all the friends I don't have. <laughs> I know it's a bi barrel. Bidoof! Wow. For people who live in different cities, they share our friends. You think they talk to each other through Discord? You know? Discord that exists? Or the Poketch? Beep. Beep. 
What does Bye Barrel even sound like? Bye Barrel. Bye Barrel. That's what I what that's what I imagine it to sound like. Oh, I can catch these guys now too. Huh. Look at those guys. Ah. I'm gonna I've got an itch to play Apex Legends for some reason right now. I don't know, maybe maybe something on screen just triggered some emotions for me. I was like, ah. I just gotta like this urge to play Apex. I wanna I probably won't play Apex on stream, because like it's yeah, it's not something that you guys really will like watching. Yeah. As much as I do like it, I, there, I, there's, I have no idea how to make it interesting other than just to talk with you guys. And then, like, even then, like, Apex is hard to talk to you guys with when I'm, like, kind of focusing and stuff, you know? So, yeah. I do like Hades, though. Hades I can do. I can talk and, and, and uh, play, talk with you guys and play at the same time. I got so close to beating a route in Hades. It's the latest game console, a Nintendo Switch. I, I like how the Nintendo Switch Lite can't even switch. It's just a handheld. About you needing to get on a ship at Snowpoint City. You know how impatient he is. Okay. What's my Pokedex look like? It's almost... should be almost be full, right? With a couple exceptions. Cherubi. Evolution of Cherubi. Riolu. Mesprit, Al Azelf, and the Uxi, and then Dialga. So I need. I basically only need two Pokemon. What am I doing? I can fucking fly. Dun 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 And then I can get the shiny radar. Or the Poke radar. And when I get that, I can do some shiny chaining. Yo, Kira, you know the Elder of Elastic Town, right? She told me she wanted to show you something. Okay. How do I get Dialga in my, um, Pokedex? Maybe in Celestic Town? Listen to that reverb. Pa, 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 pa. <clears throat> Local history? Where's the where's the where's the Celestic town person? Is it this one? It has to no. Is that you? You look well. I did some research on my own since that spot of trouble of last time. Mount Coronet is acting up has me concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. Look, it's quite old. See for yourself. Oh, it's Dialga. The time Pokemon. It seems there are two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. And I think that's what... Yeah, there we go. Dialga is in my thing now. So I only need... I only need... Cherubi's evolution? 
and Riolu, and then I'll be good to go after I catch the other Pokemon. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't need to be here. Especially the gym leader. Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Do you want to sail to the chalk zone? God, I wonder how many dicks are in chalk zone. <laughs> Oh, hey, Akira, what took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million poke. Listen up, I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever? That's going to be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to have... I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? All right, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? It's at the far end... At, the, at its far end is a volcano, and inside... And deep inside the volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So what's the big deal? If I find the treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever. That's what I'll do, Akira. You too, stranger. The treasure's mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! What's in the volcano? Howdy, I'm Buck. And if that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity-dippity trainer? You should chase after the guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You'd better shape up in the bow battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting the volcano otherwise. I'll be seeing ya. Okay. Let's see. Go out and challenge other trainers. They often have different Pokemon, so your Pokedex should fill up in no time flat. I mean, I'm almost there. Pants some Lepa berries. Ba 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 ba. Would you like to plant a berry? Lepa. Yeah. Hondu. Like honeydew. Hondu. Han han handle. Like a plant berry? A leper berry. Thank you for the leper berry. Hondu. Hondu. Mm. Hondu. Leper berry. Haha, <laughs> thirsty. There we go. All happy. Your Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? We're used to seeing some of those kinds of po those kind around here. <laughs> Whenever I travel somewhere new, I get excited over what I might discover. But the places I've visited before, those can fill me with new discoveries. There are no pit stops on the road to toughness. I made that up, but it sounds pretty cool, don't you think? No. Volcanic activity has caused the land around here to become craggy. It's hard enough to hike over such as rough, over such rough terrain, even without all the ups and downs. The way the battle tower looms, it really is a wall that stands before every trainer. The Pokemon League's Leap 4 come here sometimes. Wow. Everyone's fanatical about battling. So how do we get, like, Giratina and stuff like that? Is that, like, an event thing, or...? Apparently there's a treasure inside. I don't know what the treasure's about. Maybe it's an event thing. I was too. Bum, 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 bum.
What items should Pokemon hold? That's a question every trainer has to answer. Here's something else to think about. A scope lens. Huh. I could go and get the leftovers now. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. There we go. We gotta be some Pokemon I can catch. I see. This is Battle Tower, I'm guessing? Battle Park. Now, where do I find that Riolu? The best trainers gather here, not just from this region, but from all around the world. Battle Tower is as tough as they say, it's no cakewalk. So like, what do I get from Battle Tower? Like items and stuff? I feel like that's the, that's the case, right? Welcome to the Battle Park. It's your first time, please step this way. Since this is your first visit, you'll need to be giving a point card. Point cards are used to only to battle in Battle Park, in the Battle Park. Wow. Here you go. Point cardo. Point to cardo. I have a lot of questions. Would you, what is this? Battle Park is a place where trainers may enjoy some battles. There are two facilities in the Battle Park. The Exchange Service Counter and the Battle Tower. Would you like me to explain? Uh, yes. The Exchange Service Corner is the building that looks like a castle. There you may exchange the battle points you've earned for items. Fabulous prizes are offered, so please do visit the Exchange Service Counter when you say Corner, sorry. Corner when you say BP. Items and maybe TMs. Battle Tower. Is the building in the back of Battle Park. Single battle rooms are con conducting one-on-ones, double or two-on-twos. Uh, there's a m also Master Single and Master Double. They feature high-level opponents, and each time you go up on a seven-win streak, it ups your rank. Okay. Uh, single... Wait. No two Pokemon in your party can hold the same kind of item in Battle Tower. Okay. Not like that's an issue. Points card. They store battle points from the Battle Tower. And what do I do with the BP? Only used in Battle Park. You earn by BP by hitting, hitting certain performance targets, battling at Battle Tower. BP can be traded for prizes. Okay. I'm guessing those guys are just like, hi, welcome to Battle Tower. <gasps> Razor Fang. Razor. <laughs> It'd be cool to team up with a beauty. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a kid toting trainer. I want to show my beloved son something cool, so I'm masterclass. Mwahaha! We earned a lot of BP at the Battle Tower, and now we can exchange them for loads of prizes. It's a scam. It's like going to an arcade. They just want your money. You know what I realized about arcades? So you know how like all the prizes are extremely excessive? The reason why a lot of prizes are excessive is because it's a loyalties points thing. Like, you're supposed to, like, accumulate your points and then you redeem it for, like, prizes, right? Or, like, you redeem it for rewards. And it's the exact same thing that you do for, like, when you go to, like... So, like, a lot of restaurants nowadays have, like, loyalty apps. A patch that allows a Pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability. Ooh. Ooh. Switch between abilities, bottle cap. 
rare candy. Oh, shit. Lucky egg. Power bracer. Okay. Oh, berries. Oh, shoot. Flame orb. Oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. But yeah, arcades. I just realized, like, you go to a, you go to like a restaurant. And you're like, hey, I'd like to scan my points card, and then you get points. And they're like, hey, you have enough points to get a free drink or free burger or whatever. That's exactly what it is for arcades. Like, hey, I saved enough points. Cool. You can now get a PlayStation Five for ten billion thousand points. Because of your loyalty to our company. Listen to this music, though. So nice. Hold it right there, trainer. Have you been to Battle Tower? It's a good place to learn ba battle techniques. Brrr, since you've got to visit the Battle Tower, you don't earn experience points, and your po Pokedex isn't updated there. It's a place fully for trainers to hone their skills. Oh, shit. More berries. So they're stopping me from going to the volcano until I actually go to the battle tower, huh? <sighs> Post-game. Post-game stuff, man. Kelpsy berry. Ba 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 ba! Oh, yeah, this is just called Fight Area. Hi, welcome to Fight Area. The Resort Area, the Survival Area, and Stark Mountain, like Tony Stark. What's this over here? Iron Island. Oh, yeah. What's an Iron Island? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, can I go into this thing? No. It appears impossible to open. Oh, isn't that for like event item stuff? You can use future sight. It can predict the future. Eldritch. Like Eldritch Horror. Iron Iron. Iron, Iron Isle. Iron, Iron. Iron, Iron. <laughs> that actually reminds me of a sentence. Um, Aaron earned an iron urn. Let me repeat that for you. Aaron earned an iron urn. Asaki, hi, welcome, to, welcome, welcome Raiders, thank you Asaki. Hey guys, remember when I shouted out Asaki earlier? Hey, go follow, go follow, go give Asaki a follow. Hi Raiders, my name is Akira Dolce. I am a barista VTuber, hi, welcome to my stream. I'm a variety streamer, today I'm playing Pokemon, we just beat the Pokemon League, so uh, you just missed it, but we are doing post-game stuff, so if you want to check out post-game stuff. You can stick around and see what comes along. We're currently maybe finishing the Pokedex. <laughs> yeah, Asaki is my VTuber sibling. Very sweet, very kind. Very good at ASMR and clinking a glass and <laughs> <laughs> How's my bro doing today? I'm doing I'm doing awesome. I um I watched Spider-Man today, so that was pretty cool. Click, click. How'd you like it? Uh, the Spider-Man movie or your ASMR? Because, like, both were really good. <laughs> um, no, um, so, so for, like, lack of a better word, or lack of a better term, uh, the movie made me horny. So, you know, take that as you will. <laughs> and again, lack of a better word! Made me horny. 
Excuse you? Yeah, excuse you. Listen, I have no way to explain how good the Spider-Man movie is, especially if you've seen the previous Spider-Man movies, like Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I like to camp, so what? Let's battle. Yeah, I'm a camper. Yeah, I love to Pokemon battle. We exist. But yeah, Saki's ASMR is really was really fun to listen to. Um, I wouldn't say it's... Again, no offense, no offense to Saki. It's, I wouldn't say it's relaxing, but it was definitely good company. <laughs> I'm a beginner. It was good company for sure, though. Um, it's like if you're like sitting around working, it's good to listen to. It was pretty relaxed. Oh, <laughs> Asaki, since we were talking about shiny hunting earlier, uh, I need to show you this thing. It happened. <laughs> it happened. 102 encounters, by the way. How the actual fuck? I'm lucky as hell. I might do another. I might do another shiny hunt stream because I feel super lucky. Where the fuck? Hold on a second. I have a major scratch on my arm, and I don't know where that came from. I just noticed it now. That's kind of that's kind of weird. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I'm like really. It looks like a cat scratch, but like I have no idea where this came from. <laughs> Shiny hunt stream hype. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping. I'm thinking about maybe doing another one. I had a good time. Does anyone know what I get in this island? I actually have no idea what I get here. I'm just kind of here. Oh, you know what I haven't been to in a while? I haven't been to the underground. What do you want to do? I don't know. An iron ball? What the heck's an iron ball? Oh, it's, is it a held item? It is. <laughs> I thought it was a Pokeball. Allows ground types to hit flying, but lower speed. I see. Cause like, isn't there like an iron ball? Or like, no, it's called a heavy ball. In the anime, in the Pokemon anime, there's a thing called a heavy ball. And I think Brock used it to catch something. I don't remember. Who's naming your Pokemon? Uh, my chat. So, <laughs> whatever my chat decides. There's a, there's a redeem, I believe, in my, um, yeah, there's a redeem. Uh, if you check it out. I haven't caught anything recently, though, so... Ba -na 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 -na. A child. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> Vera Kalen. I hope I said that right. Thank you for the follow, and welcome to the cafe. See, Holemaker was like my weakest Pokemon. It was my lowest level Pokemon, but it fucking carried. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep pegging them. May we have a battle, please? It will be something to lighten up this boring picnic. Sorry, why are you? She's having a picnic in a cave? Oh, you know, just getting some sun. You know, laying out my blanket in the middle of these rocky areas. Got a little dust on my sandwich. <laughs> one of 22 people pronounce it correct. Am I the one? Am I the one? Am I wrong? <laughs> Getting some vitamin D. Yeah, good old vitamin D inside the cave. Starts licking a rock. Mmm, vitamin D. One of 22 people. Oh wait, I... Wait. Am, am, I, am I the one though? Am I the one? Oh, it's the Cherim! I needed this thing.
Ha ha ha! Wait, wait, maybe I didn't. Cherim? Did I need did I need Cherim in my Pokedex? Do you classify as 22 people? I mean I can be. There's a multiverse out there. <laughs> The other two, the other 21 Akira Dolce's do not know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, I was looking at my Pokedex, that's what I was looking at. Cherum, 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 Cherum. Where's Cherum? I'm not that, I'm too far. There it is! Okay, cool. We only need, uh... I know where to find, I know where to find... Riolu now, because I think Riolu's in here. <gasps> oh yeah, some guy, some guy gives me an egg. Some Lucario guy gives me an egg and he's like, hey, please hatch this. And that's how I get Lucario, or Riolu at least. Yeah, 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 I remember. I remember. I remember. You get the egg in Hearth City? No, wait, is that? No, you get, what? No, I already hatched that egg. You get it from, like, a Lucario guy, and I think he's inside one of these caves. What hatches from that egg, though? I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Maybe, maybe I can find it. Oh, Happini! Who the heck named my Happini Happy Ness? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna murder. Hello? Oh, I understand. You know what? I actually just don't want to deal with Pokemon right now. So I'm just gonna cast a Repel real quick here. Where is... There we are. There we are. I'm gonna head out... Thank you for stopping by, Vera. I greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for the follow. Escape. 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 You guys remember Finding Nemo? You guys, guys... You guys remember Finding Nemo? Well, they found him. <laughs> Did you li like Finding Dory at all? I don't remember finding Dory at all, actually. I remember I remember going to the theaters to watch it, but like I don't really remember it that much. How did she get lost again? How did she get lost? Was she was she just swimming around and get caught in a current? Did you get Cynthia yet? Like, did I kill her? Yeah, I did. She died a terrible death. <laughs> I pumped my Palkia full of drugs, and I just absolutely destroyed her. I wonder if anyone clipped it. Because I was, I was just having a good time pumping my Palkia full of drugs. I still want to get really good at beatboxing. Especially like to Pokemon themes. <laughs> An ether. Hey, would you like tea or coffee? Ether. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this about me. I've noticed this a lot, actually. But I have this habit of, um... Laughing at myself a lot. Laughing at my own jokes. I'll say something, I'll be like, Haha! Hilarious! And I'll laugh at my own jokes. I think I'm funny. I think I'm hilarious. I think I should do stand-up. Excuse me. I, sh I stood up. <laughs> I stood up. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats, and boots and cats. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ah, sturdy. Yeah, the only reason why I kind of want to get good at beatboxing is uh, Germa. Germa. Germa awesome streamer. A small enemy spider. <laughs> I want to get good. Get good. Iron Tail. Okay, not this way. We're making our way downtown to get Lucario Riolu. Ah. Oh, sorry. Hiccup. There he is! You have a movie based off of you. You are. Okay. You're Akira. I'm Riley. A trainer. And yes, it's a bit odd what I would be training here. If you'd like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. When you're up in the mountains, a battle due for a proper greeting. <laughs> Two burly men approach a small young woman in the mountains. Every good hiker gets a boost of energy when surrounded by boulders. Roar! I'm coming at you. Let me bro. Oh, I feel. I feel. No. Bad touch. Bad touch. She's ten. Yeah. Stranger danger. Do not approach. Do not witness. Metal Claw Golbat I should have a redeem where I just do a really bad accent <laughs> Hiker sent out Machop Peg is awaiting your instructions Dazzling Gleam Peg, use Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> I'm pretty... I'm pretty alright at accents, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you know what really kind of fucks me up? Tom Holland... has an English accent. <laughs> it's like... It's like... Oh, wow. Why do you have three Pokemon and the other guy has two? I remember when I was, um, when I was a young'un. When I, when, I, when I was a young'un, uh, I would, like, sit in here and grind. Because, like, this guy, like, heals your Pokemon every after every battle. He big English accent? Yeah. He, he big English. I was really surprised when I heard his actual accent for the first time. Hey, it's me, Tom Holland. I play Spider-Man. <laughs> it's me, Tom... Even, oh, Andrew Garfield also, as well. Another Spider-Man is also English. Oh my god, it's him, Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. He's English? Yeah, go look at some, like, interviews with Andrew Garfield. I think he made out with, like... I don't want to say made out, but he... He definitely kissed, um... Fuck, what's his name? Ah, he was a... He was an interview guy. Talk show host, dude. Both the Yonixes have sturdy. Spider-Man. Yeah, I play Spider-Man in, in the Sony movie. <laughs> Not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Play Spider-Man. <laughs> so, I'm sorry for all of the English accents out there. People with English accents, I'm so sorry. Spider-Man. As I continue to do it, I'm so... <laughs> Ba 
Spider-Man. I've written recently just I have been having a kick with the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. I recently watched like Doctor Strange. Flare Blitz. Oh, see, um, it would be way better than Fire Blast. Quite bad damages the user quite a lot. So it's like it's like Brave Bird, but like not. Brave Bird. <laughs> I didn't mean to, I didn't, I don't even think about it. I don't even think about it and it just comes out. Flare bit, bl flare blitz. Brave bird. Should I switch it? Doramu, I've come to trade Pokemon cards. Dude, that scene really got me. I was like, oh. So like I guess Doctor Strange spoilers, but like that. So like Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange, really fucked me up. Benedict Cumberbatch, another English MCU actor. What's with all these Englishmen? But like when he was like, when he was like, at the beginning of the movie, he's like such an asshole. He's like a grade A dick, and then by the end of the movie, he's like. I'm willing to sacrifice myself. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to suffer eternal damnation, risk eternal damnation for the good of humankind. Fucking blows my mind. Benedict Cumberbatch. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's six syllables. Look at this photograph. <laughs> I enjoy the Iron Man parallels. Cocky genius with facial hair gets humbled into a superhero. Ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. See, I don't. See, I don't really know. I haven't watched the Iron Man movies, but I feel like if I did, I'll start to like Tony Stark more. But right now, I, he's just kind of like a dick bag. So like, I don't know. Dude, I remember. Man, they're fucking posing like that. <laughs> I remember like, um, when Civil War came out and like Spider-Man showed up in Civil War, everyone fucking lost their fucking mind. They didn't think Spider-Man would ever show up in the MCU because they was owned by Sony and they're like, oh, by the way, we have Spider-Man now. Look out, there's a spider. Stanley intentionally wrote him as a dick bag, but somehow he's a hero you enjoy to read about. That's weird. I wonder how you're like able to do that. Like, so here's the thing that that really gets me. When you write a character to be intentionally hated, like that seems so hard. Because like we can always we can always talk about things that we like about people. And we can talk about things that we hate about people. But we have to like but if you write a character about how much you hate them, but they're still likable, how the hell? How the hell? So I'm gonna bring up a, a video game from my past. And not like my, my ancient past, but like my near past. And I, I don't like it at all. But uh, have you heard about this uh, this postmodern RPG game? It's 
<laughs> it's supposed to make a splash and make a statement. Just make them hot. I mean, I guess Tony Stark is kind of hot. I guess... I guess Stephen Strange is kind of hot. Now they are hot. What am I talking about? They are hot. But yeah, this, this postmodern RPG game... <laughs> so they tried to write... So the writer of that game tried to make the, um... Tried to make the protagonist a hateable character, a hateable person, but in the end redeems himself? Here's the thing. He never redeems himself. At all. Nothing bad ever happens to him. It pissed me off. So guess what? You wrote a hateable character. Guess what? You didn't make him likable. Congratulations, you failed the topic. You did not follow the instructions. You did not pass go. You did not collect $200. I wonder if that game even made $200. Unredeemable asshole. Yeah. And then you're supposed to play the entire game with him. I don't know. Who likes him? Not me. Listen, I could go I could go for like days talking about how much I hate that game. I played through the entire game. I do not want I do not want to live through it and ever again. Never again. Was not a fan of it. I will say this one thing. The one thing that really makes that game absolutely shit face garbage, piss nuts, is that the combat system is so... Like, it's got good intentions. It's got the right idea. It's executed fucking piss terribly. So it had, like, this Mario RPG thing where, like, you have to, like, time your hits. It's got, like, little mini games that you can play to, like, make sure you increase your damage. But the thing is, is that if you screw up the mini game, you don't... You don't reduce your damage. You just flat out miss. So if you fuck up the minigame, which is actually really easy to do, you'll just do zero damage. And I swear, like, the progression system, like, you can choose to level up. So how the, how the level up system goes, how the stat distribution works, is that you're given, like, a plus three, a plus two, a plus one. Like, it's, it's random. I don't say it's random, but it's... It's, um, consistent... Consistently random. So you get, maybe you'll get plus three, plus three, plus one, plus one, plus 0 0.5 or something. But it's like, it's always like a consistently the same numbers. I slammed every single stat point into attack and I did still did the same base amount of damage, I swear. The progression... You couldn't. You couldn't do anything. It didn't matter what you chose, they all fucking sucked. You gotta give rewards, not punishment. Yes. I'm not a game designer, but I, I like your idea. Anyways, I, I think that's enough. The reason why I talk about that recently is that it showed up... It showed up in my life recently. I was watching a VTuber uh, play... Valhalla, and Valhalla references, Valhalla references Yik, because it's by the same publisher, like, a publisher published both games, Valhalla and Yik, and it referenced it, and I got sent into a fucking spiral of despair and bad memories, and I wanted to vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Valhalla is published by the same publisher as Yek. I've yet to play, I've yet to play Valhalla. 
but I've heard good things about it. I heard it's like Coffee Talk. I don't know if you guys heard of hot Coffee Talk, but it's basically like you play as a barista and you serve people, you serve people their drinks. It makes me sad to see the publisher promoted on Twitter. It feels like it's holding on, holding. It feel like feels like it's holding them hostage. They probably have to promote it contractually. <laughs> ah. Valhalla is wonderful. I've heard. I've actually maybe played. I played. I played um the first. The first like fifteen minutes of it. Somebody's like, "Hey, you should play Valhalla." I was like, "Okay, sure." And then I played it, and then I. And then I lost. I didn't like. Here's the thing. I don't own it. And they retracted their Steam share, so I couldn't play it. So yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to go out and buy it or Steam share from somebody. But yeah, I've heard things about. I just realized this team that we have going on here. I'm not sure if you guys really noticed it, but I just did now. We have Lucario and Gardevoir, the two sexual icons of Pokemon. We have the sexiest team in all of Pokemon right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it. I said it, and I, I don't regret it. But I also, I also do regret it. Well, they are. Yeah, you said it, not me. You said it, not me. Sorry, I'm just gonna s I gotta sniff my candle every now and then. I love the smell of lavender. The two most sexualized Pokemon. Have you heard of Reshram? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Lucario was some people's sexual awakening. Don't want to think about it, but it, apparently it was. I wonder if... I, and I, there's no doubt about it that Gardevoir was probably someone else's sexual awakening. You know, sexual awakening is just always a weird topic. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Wasn't there somebody who did a song about Reshiram? Yeah, that's what I was referencing. Justin loves Reshiram. He loves Reshiram. Justin loves Reshiram. Justin and Reshiram, together forever, together forever. Love, love. Persona, but instead of Persona from Personal Growth, it's from Sexual Awakening. <laughs> oh, I feel like. You know, I feel like that's actually a little bit accurate for some of the characters. Oh, it definitely is, actually. You guys know Kanji Tatsumi? Kanji Tatsumi's sexual awakening was also his persona. <laughs> and I guess maybe now Toe for like... For like gender awakening, maybe. Kanji's like one of the best characters ever. He's written so well. Oh, I have this really, really soft spot for characters that are overly masculine and then they're forced into a situation where they have to like break down that masculine wall. Oh, such a, it's such a like heartwarming experience to see that happen. Um, so I was I was browsing on that TikTok.com. I'm not sure if you know about TikTok.com, but I've been browsing it recently. And um, there is a like top, not top, but like memorable video game deaths. And um, there's a character in Gears of War that dies. And the main character, like he watches him die, and he's like, no, no, I gotta save my best friend. I gotta save my friend. And it's like, oh my god. 
Seeing seeing an overly butch masculine dude freak out over his friend's death. Oh. <sighs> Some something about it. I think that's what I also like about JoJo, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <clears throat> Is that like they are very buff masculine dudes and all of a sudden it's like Let's be sensual. <laughs> let's be sensual. Let's let's cry. Let's cry my friends. <clears throat> Ah, oh, sorry, lavender. Can't get over that lavender. It's like watching Iraqi sexually awaken over 30 years. <clears throat> they don't know Team Galactic's plan anyways. I literally have Palkia. I literally stole your plan away from you. I intend to test my skill on other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care on the way out. Wasn't this guy in one of the Pokemon movies? Yeah, uh, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. I think it's like the sixth Pokemon movie. <clears throat> I have yet to see it. I think you're talking about toxic masculinity. Masculinity itself shouldn't mean no emotions. I mean... No, not necessarily. It's just masculine in general, like a very, a very masculine man, a very manly man. You know, masculinity is... It's subjective, I guess. Like, so an example, I guess, is like a dad. A dad who is like worried about his son. The dad is overly usually masculine. And then eventually he's like, son, I'm worried about you. I'm like, dad, he's a dad. He, he loves his son. I don't know, something about something about that specifically, like men showing emotions. Ooh, oh, yeah. Show me that emotions there. Show me your emotions. <laughs> I'm sorry. God of War? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of regret saying that. No. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. I guess, yeah, I guess God of War Daddy is kind of like that. Um, but the, the change is instant. And I think there's a little bit, I need to see that, I need to see that click happen, you know? I don't know, it's just like, I believe when you start the game up, like, he's automatically like, I care about you, son. But it's not like, it's not like, I don't care about you, son. Go off and go hunt some deer or something. And then he's like, son, I almost lost you to the deer. You know, something like that, you know? Something that breaks down those walls. Because, like, I don't know what happened between God of, God of War God of War 3 and um, God of War for the PS4. But it's not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for again? Oh, the fucking spirits of the lakes. God of War. God of War. Have some coffee with the God of War. Oh, I was speaking about this earlier. Uh, I was I was talking about I Aaron earned an iron urn. 
I, I, I forgot to talk, like, tell you about this, but there, there's a particular accent <laughs> where if you said Aaron earned an iron urn, it would sound like <clears throat> Aaron earned an iron urn. <laughs> Aaron earned an iron urn. I think it's Boston. Iron Iron and Iron Iron. <laughs> that sounds like a Minecraft villager. Iron. Iron Iron and Iron Iron. Iron. Okay, let's start this off. Oh god. Oh, I forgot. That was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I've asked you to do at Canalav Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokémon of the Lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokémon evolve and some don't. Ultimately, it deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, it adds to my enjoyment. Akira, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seems like it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the Marking Map app on your Poketch, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokémon. What? You don't have the Marking Map app? You should occasionally pay visits to the Poketch company, you know. Go on, Akira. I'm sure that you'll keep meeting countless po po Pokémon and people. Those counters encounters will keep thrilling you in your own special ways. I hope you enjoy that experience. Take care, Akira. I will. How'd you get across the lake? How did you get here? Magic. He teleported. He he himself is a Pokemon. Ah, sorry. Does that mean it's in my Pokedex or do I have to actually go out and Oh it's actually in my Pokedex. Cool. Bum 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 Is this lake fixed or is it still blown up. No, this this lake is fixed. See, I don't know which one of these ones actually battle me, like in the cave. I think it's this one. Oh yes, this one. Oh, I fucked up. Hold on, let me restart. I don't want to put... I don't want to put Peg out first because, like, it'll most likely have the bold trait. The nature. And I don't want it to have bold. <laughs> In fact, I have too many bold Pokemon. Bold. Bold. Boulder. Boulder dash. Boulder dash. Sorry. My brain, that's how my brain works. It just connects words together. Is that how traits work? It has, it's how synchronize works. My, um, Gardevoir has synchronize and, um, synchronize makes it so your something or another is likely to It's likely to be the same, um, nature as the one that has Synchronize. And I fucked up because Palkia has the same nature as my Gardevoir. And it's not the best one, honestly. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> All right, let's try it. Nope. Do 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 do. -do. I wonder if this will kill it. It's a legendary, so maybe not. Okay. Round two. You know, I could shiny grind this one, too. <laughs> you know, I could shiny grind this one, too. <laughs> Do you guys want a shiny grind? Shiny Azelf. Oh my god, he looks so cool! Hold on, let me show you what Shiny Azelf looks like. He looks like a little alien. I did something wrong here. Hold on. There we go. Look at that! He looks like a little alien! I kind of want that. I kind of want it. Do I do I go for a shiny today, guys? I wonder if so Night Slash got a critical. I wonder if if it didn't crit, will it would he would he survive? Quit landing a critical. Hold on. Let me get my encounter, my encounter thing up going. Reset counter. One hundred and two. Reset. Reset. Zero. Reset. I want to reset. How do we reset it? Edit. Count zero. Third encounter. Why is this bitch mustard color? I don't know, but he looks like a little alien and I like him. I want the little alien. Okay, I want to see if a crit, a non-crit, will kill it. So I need to figure out I need to figure this out like immediately. So I know that I don't accidentally kill it. So right now I actually have a something that improves criticals. See it keeps landing a crit. Keeps it keeps keeps critting. I'll take the thing off that crits, though. I am like 10 levels, like 12 levels higher, so like maybe even if it, I don't crit, I think I'll maybe still kill him. <laughs> Crinkle Toes wants to be praised. He's doing a great job. He's doing a great job at failing. You need False Swipe? I'm sorry. I can't afford False Swipe.
An egg can't hold an item. Not with that attitude. Ooh. Held item. This is the fourth encounter. Okay, let's try. Let's try. I don't think it's gonna happen. Psychic extrasensory nasty plot. Okay, yeah, so a non crit will. A non-crit will work. I guess we're gonna- I guess we're gonna shiny grind this. <laughs> I don't- I'm not expecting much out of this, but... An egg can't hold an item, but execute can. Well, an execute is sentient. An egg isn't really a sentient just yet. At least not right now. <clears throat> Oh god, I would hate it if I got a crit on a on the uh, a Zelf when it's a shiny. You know, it's not really reliable because like if I fuck it up, I fuck it up. You know, and I have to keep searching. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it again. Oh, maybe I could use Felstinger. Maybe Felstinger, because I think that does less damage. But also it has a stab bonus, so I don't know. Yeah, it maybe consist. See, I'm, I'm so worried about... I'm so worried about killing it accidentally. I'm going to leave you to this. Hopefully it won't take 50 hours. Uh, I, I do owe Asaki a... Um, a shiny grind stream, so this is a perfect example, or for, perfect example, perfect uh, opportunity to do another shiny shiny grind. You know, I, I wish it was like something more, something more interesting, like a Rayquaza or like a Giratina. Gir Giratina's in this game, right? Shiny Rayquaza is so cool. Like it's a black Rayquaza. How cool is that? <laughs> Imagine, imagine sub 10. Imagine sub 10. Oops. It would never happen, but imagine sub 10. Da -da 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 I wonder, do I, can, how do I get false swipe in this game? How do I get false swipe? False swipe TM location. Department store, third stone, veil stone. What if I just go out and get that first? Yeah, I think I might I might do that. Bum bum ba ba na bum bum ba da bum bum. I feel like this is, I don't I don't even feel like this is going to be worth it like really What does the shiny What does the sh other shiny spirits look like? Let me take a look at that first. 
Brum, brum. Mesprit. What is Mesprit? Oh, Mesprit also looks like a weird alien thing. What about... What about Uxi? Uxi's not even that cool. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get false swipe. Do I have a high level Pokemon that... I don't need to compromise the moves for. Cause maybe I should maybe I should do that before forcing one to learn false swipe. Ah, wrong one. Oh, come on. I wish I could sort by level. Shinx? Level 30, level 25. I don't think I have anything that's high enough level to learn it. Gas butt. 47. I could train my I could train my Riolu. Honestly, I could train my Riolu. You know. I think I'm going to say screw it to the shiny for now. I'll talk to Asaki if she wants to do a collab stream where we grind shinies together. Um, but for now, I'm just going to say screw it. And I'm going to catch some Pokemon. I just kind of, I need to find the right, the right Pokemon. To learn false sweat. No, Cricketoon could probably learn it, honestly. <laughs> Just be perfectly fine with that. Wait, what move does he have? He has Night Slash, he has Fell Stinger. I need to check if Fell Stinger will. I want to see if Fell Stinger will kill it. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. If anything, I could just make him relearn shit. So. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just do that, just in case. Crinkle Toes is gonna be my catching master. Learned False Swipe instead. What's the power on that move again? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even check. Check summary. 40. And then he has Sing as well, so that, like, that'd be super helpful to have. So yeah, I guess I'm maybe all set up to do a shiny grind now. And not super scoffed. Wait, where is that? There it is. And not super scoffed like um, like my Palkia one, where I only had two Ultra Balls. Wow, that was really fucking genius of me, wasn't it? Okay. Um, I guess. I guess we'll shiny grind it, and then we'll come back. We'll come back every now and then to see if we can shiny grind. Something really, really exciting about grinding legendaries, though. I don't know. 
that's just me what other shiny do you guys have any shinies that you really really like i actually <laughs> i was gonna say i really like leafeon i sure don't i sure don't like leafeon I kind of do want a, a shiny Eevee, though. Where do I get an Eevee? Because Eevee, no, Eevee's not even in... Wait, no, Eevee is in this game. Because otherwise, how would you get a Glaceon? It's probably in the National Dex, right? Um, Sort. Yeah, Eevee's in the National Dex, I guess. Wow. Imagine having Leafeon and Glaceon and just unavailable until you beat the game. That's... Mmm. Mmm, that's tasty. Ba. 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 All right, uh, so the last time I caught a shiny, I was talking about Little Caesar's Pizza. So maybe if I talk about Little Caesar's Deep Dish Pizza, maybe I'll, maybe, just maybe, maybe I'll catch a shiny. Do you guys like the Deep Dish Pizza from Little Caesar's? I don't think, I don't think maybe talk, topic conversations really affect your luck, but maybe, maybe. Sub 10, here we go, sub 10. Or maybe 10 encounters in general. Alright, um, I'm actually going to end my stream real soon here. It's already late. And I want to... Uh, I want to do things tonight. Other than play Pokemon. Even though I do love this game. And I do like shiny things. I'm like a little, like, what is it, a magpie? Magpies like shiny things, right? I mean, what's more, is there a more classy shiny than Magikarp? You know, shiny, shiny Magikarp isn't as interesting. It's cool because it's like gold. But, um. But, like, it's so, like, when you evolve it, it's not that interesting anymore because it's a red Gyarados. And red Gyarados was available and in like um in pokemon ruby and sapphire not ruby and sapphire pokemon <laughs> gold and silver so it's not as cool it's not as cool having a red gyarados it's the og shiny it's the it's the easiest to obtain shiny it's literally like an event pokemon uh anyways uh i think i'm gonna end the stream here uh and then we'll find out someone to raid i think prismaya is still streaming here so um, let me go check if Prismaya is still streaming. Yes, Prismaya is playing Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Ow, thank you for the f whatever the fuck. I wasn't even looking and I got hit with that. Anyways, we're going to read Prismaya. And um, we're going to have a jolly old time, huh? Playing, watching Skyrim. Prismaya. All right. Um, so I don't even normally stream on the weekends, but maybe I'll pick up a stream this weekend. Who knows? Really? I don't really know. Um, but next week, um, maybe we'll start a new game because we are only really playing Pokemon. Maybe we'll play Hades. I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but we're going to have a good time. That's all I can guarantee you is that every time here is a good time. I don't know what time it is for you guys, but I hope it's a good time. So have a good everybody. Have a good. Say hi to Prismaya for me. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good.